My name is Melissa Joskow, and I wrote Veer Donna and the Night. I'm in eighth grade at H.B. Woodlawn in Arlington, Virginia. I got the idea for this play from all the books about magic and knights and dragons that I've read. And my advice to other people who might want to write a play is to write about characters that interest you. I'm interested in fantasy and sci-fi, so I wrote about those types of characters. I also try to add a little humor in my writing, so I hope that you laugh a lot when you see this play. <laughs> First things first, I'm a dragon, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> I am crystal colored with huge silver wings. My teeth are as sharp as diamonds. Oh, I remember when those teeth were the tears of the kingdom. I would steal maidens and fight with knights. Even the king feared my wrath. Oh, those days were the good days. But I'm old. <laughs> 1,216 years to be exact. My reign of terror is over. Now I just want a quiet life in my cave. Usually people leave me alone. They don't fight me. I don't eat them. <laughs> it's all good. But once in a while, some stupid knight comes along and tries to fight me. I wish they would stop. I I'm not a bad dragon anymore. I just want to live the rest of my days in my cave and go to book club on Tuesday night. <laughs> I'm very handsome. <laughs> As a knight, it's almost required. If you're going to be saving maidens all day long, you don't want to look like a baboon's backside. But I've dedicated my life to slaying dragons. See, I've got a grudge against their race. My whole family has a grudge against dragons. All the men spend their lives fighting dragons. My ancestors would slay dragons that terrorized kingdoms. It's a very noble thing to do. I'm following tradition. True, there hasn't been a dragon attack in 300 years, but I read my history books. I know what could happen. The best way to deal is to kill. Stand up and fight, you weasel! Huh? What? <laughs> you heard me? Now get up! I didn't come here for nothing, you know. Go away. I paid my taxes. Let me sleep. I didn't come here for taxes. I've made it my quest to kill all the dragons in the land. Why me? I haven't terrorized anyone in the past 300 years. Well, except for that guy. Oh, and that other knight, and the odd city or two. But other than that, nothing. I, I have a grudge against dragons. They are an inferior race. Why do you hate us? We're not a bad species. My family has a long history of destroying evil. Ugly dragons like you, today I'm going to make them proud. Well, that's stupid. I bet you don't even remember what started that fight. <laughs> and I have a grudge against knights who wake me while I'm sleeping. Well, as I'm extremely handsome, it must be hard to hold a grudge against me. You infuriate me! I've never met such a self-centered knight. And I've never met such an ugly dragon! Wait, I have! All dragons are ugly! Oh, you're making a big mistake! I'm doing the world a favor! 
Dragons are always stealing maidens and livestock. They terrorize kingdoms and are a general nuisance. I don't terrorize kingdoms or steal maidens. I haven't even been out of my kingdom in the past hundred years. Anyway, most dragons are reformed. Go find a dragon that did something wrong. I'll give you a choice. You can leave now unscathed, or I can kick you all the way to the next kingdom. I will not leave without a fight, you mangy rascal. Dragons are an ugly nuisance that need to be terminated. <laughs> and you're the ugliest, weakest one yet. How dare you insult me? I am the strongest dragon to ever terrorize the land. No other dragon compares to me! <laughs> you miss me! You miss me! <laughs> Seems like someone needs some practice. Not for long! <laughs> I did it! I bested the dragon, Bjordana! Evil knight, you have insulted me for the last time! <laughs> Your Donna has not lost 